Greetings ladies and gentlemen and of course my fellow Redditors. This is Dian Bellier doing a video review of mysisha.co.uk, a British supplier for hookah equipment. Let's see what they sent us today. At least a big box with a decent amount of packaging material. The box itself weighs 22 kilos, so I think there will be something nice inside. Who knows? As we can clearly see, there's hefty amount of packing material, so hopefully everything will be intact. Mm, let's see. We've got some extra grommets. Mm. A foil puncher which I did not order, but nice from Imar to send it as a gift. Hmm. Oh. This is the Ganti portable shisa. Open. This looks just like normal thermos can. One which you could store coffee in, but instead this is for smoking. So I think we'll see how it smokes later. Now let's put it back there. Then there is hmm, some extra new hoses. I didn't order these either, but thanks, Imad. Some mouth tips. Who helped put so much extra into an order like this? Yet another disposable hose. A base cover. I didn't order this either. Damn it. Hefty amount of bubble wrapping. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there starts to be something nice. Muran foil. I didn't order this either. Well, uh, who cares? Some ice tips. Thank you, Imad. I didn't order this either. Damn it. I ordered 100 mouthpieces. Now I've got like... How much is this? 400? 500? Uh, well... One can't never have too many mouthpieces. Uh, oh... My extra large call carrier. Mm. Then some mouth tips again. Uh, a number of dual tone hose, green and black. This is at least something I ordered. Very good. Um, I expect this is one of the Jumbo bases. Let's see. More bubble wrapping. How many rolls of this stuff did we must put here? Oh, actually, this is not a jumbo base. This is base for one of the hookahs I ordered. A pretty nice looking Khalil Mamoon base in blue and gold. And actually you can see through it, so you can check the weather level. Uh, that's nice. 
Yet more bubble wrap. Uh, one more mouth tip. Um, let's see what this is. <coughs> hmm. There's something inside of this. What it is? Oh. Kalil Mamun funnel balls. I ordered three of these. And this one contains only two of them. So one is somewhere there still. Hmm, this looks quite intact. No cracks or fractures. Um, is this one of the jumbo bases then? Hmm. Let's see. Yet more bubble wrap and more bubble wrap. There's entire rolls of this stuff here. Yeah, this is one of the jumbo bases I ordered. Oh, it's actually a pretty nice looking one. Uh, some silver engravings and then it's just a clear base let's put it there for a moment oh there are toys beneath hmm what is this okay the third funnel bowl that's good now we have all of them uh, one of something that I don't know what is it. This might be one of the original balls for those Kalilma moons. Let's see. So far so good. Nothing is broken at the moment. Yeah, this is one of the Egypt Egyptian clay balls for the Kalilma moons. The quality isn't the nicest. It's full of extra clay bites but hmm, I think it will work at least it's not broken uh, then we have yet another jumbo base if I'm correct oh there's the opening yes let's see oh actually Yes, this is the another jumbo base I ordered. It's quite similar as the first one, but it has much more uh, golden-like finish on it. Similar engravings, but instead of this part being silver, it's golden on this particular one. There is some paint missing on it, but what can you expect from handmade glass vases? Okay, now we have three vases here. Let's see. Uh, some trays, according to the sound of it. Yeah, these are the Praise for my Kalima Moons. Uh, two nice sets of basic tongs. Uh, a smaller oxidized tray for the beast. And then a larger one for the Ceramica. Let's see what we have still in here. A plenty of stuff. Uh, is this the original base for the Ceramica or is this something else? Yes, I think this is the original base. Get the amount of bubble wrap things. Yes. This is, uh, okay, this is the another base I ordered. Those two were actually 
One was the jumbo bass and one was the, for the ceramica. This is a Khalil Mamoun Farouz I bass for the beast. I wanted a clear bass for the beast too since uh, this is the ways which comes with the beast I ordered and for some reason even though this is beautiful I like clear bases so you can see the smoke clearer uh, let's see what we have here uh, one pack of cocoa blaze another pack of cocoa blaze natural charcoal and uh, of course third pack of cocoa blaze and then we have okay this has taken some heat to it this is a Khalil Mamoun extra large wind cover but as you can see it's not round it's almost let's say squeeze it up a bit let's see if the other one has survived better yes this is much more like it should be this is a round one as you can see it's round not cylindrical like this but hopefully they both work otherwise I'll have to hammer it to get the shape back Yet annoying set of paper and then now we can see all the beautiful holes in here oh he included a pair of jumbo tones too I didn't order these either thank you Imad I've got plenty of free stuff today oh I'm not going to open this up since I think I'll keep these spares there are some grommets for the Khalil Mamoons few ball bearings whole sport grommets ball grommets and of course the waste grommets will go there and then what is this uh, it might be another clay bowl let's see yeah it's another Egyptian clay bowl. I think this is for the ceramica since this is a lot bigger than the first one I got. Note that the first one is a bit chipped and it has some kind of extra clay particles on the sides but I think it will, it will work just fine. And then we've got one Khalil Mamoun rainbow hose for either of those hookahs. This is pretty nice colored, uh, darker one. Um, and it states Khalil Mamoun right there. Unfortunately, these hoses are not washable, but uh, they are the stock hoses that come with Khalil Mamoun hookah these days. Yet more bubble wrapping. Okay, I'll take the hookahs last. Uh, one mouth tip for some of the hoses I ordered. And then there is the dual tone red and black Namur hose. It's beautiful and washable. So uh, let's see kind of beauties we still have there then we've got uh, the white and black Namur hose um, I didn't order this so do know what Ahmad has been thinking since I've got plenty of extra stuff this is one Namur hose with 
black and silver finish. So let's see. Then there are the ten Namur houses I ordered. Uh, two blue ones, three third blue one, one pink, another pink. This was supposed to be red, but they're pink instead. Well, I don't mind. Then there's uh, two, four, and fifth of the green ones. So how many there are? Five, seven, six, eight, nine. Okay, I think he's run out of those hoses since this is then the tenth one and this is dual color hose. Not one of I ordered, but it will work fine. Yet another mouth tip. And then we have the stems left. I think I'll come closer to the camera to show these beauties to you. Uh, this is the quad metal B with gold shy. I ordered this. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty beautiful one. Excuse me for the camera zoom. It's zoomed so that the entire desk is visible. But, and as you can see, quite wide gauge. Hopefully this will smoke really well. And then for the last, but not the least, we have the Khalil Mahmood ceramic. This is really heavy duty. This weighs like three or four kilos. And as you can see, the finish is quite beautiful handcrafted. I don't know why there is an orange grommet, but it will work just fine. And this gauge is even wider than the beast. But now I think I'll have to sign out from this video and start cleaning this damn bubble wrap out. I'll get back to you later with reviews of those hookahs. Thank you for your time spent and excuse me for my bad English.